how to create a healthy warm market list. This is the 365 Days of Multi-Level Marketing Journey to Freedom Podcast with Rome Bachelor, where Rome shares his daily journey from down and out to total financial freedom in one year, along with pro tips, tricks, strategies, and tools to help you join in on the journey. Now, here's Rome with today's Journey to Financial Freedom Podcast. Okay, so today we're going to actually do an exercise. You may want to pause this podcast episode or download it and come back to it later. You're going to need a few things to get a lot out of this. You're going to need a pen and paper. You're going to need uh, preferably a notebook. Also, it wouldn't hurt to have your Facebook or social media app close by or open because that will also help you. And you may want to be able to listen to this and pause it. This will be something useful for you to save or refer back to or send your new people to to help them develop their list. Here's the deal with this. Here's the promise. The promise is not that you think, well, I, I'm going to prejudge this and I don't need to do this because I already know who I know and I don't. That's not being coachable. I want you to just trust me. Grab some paper. Grab a pen. Possibly, if possible, not necessary, open that social media app and just do this process and prove to yourself that you're right or wrong or that, uh, you know, potentially there might be somebody you're missing that could either be or lead you to one of your best customers, one of your best teams, possibly refer you to the biggest person you'll ever have that you would have missed and you could lose out on millions of dollars in a lifetime because your mind doesn't think in groups, it thinks in individuals. And so what we're going to do is the practice of using a memory jogger, and that's most effective when one person stimulates the thought and the other person just free associates and writes down what comes to the head. I don't want you to think of, oh, I'm not going to uh, 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 write down Bill's name because I, don't, I wouldn't know how to reach Bill or I wouldn't know what to say to Bill. The purpose is not to judge Um, How am I going to get a hold of this person or write even their contact information down? It's just to write their first and last name down or their first name and where you know them from so you know exactly who you met and you can refer back to it later and look up their information. Uh, Also, every person may have a slightly different approach. You may go to them asking for help. You may go to them and drop drop off information. You may want to go to them and give them a sample. Or you may want to go to them and just say, hey, listen, I just want you to be aware of what I'm doing just in case it's ever a fit or in case you know anyone that you could refer to me so that we can both thank you. I would appreciate it and you know I think the world of you and I was just wondering maybe I'm barking up the wrong tree maybe you you know you can't help me I understand that's fine but I want you to be aware of what I'm doing just in case would you help me you know would you could could can I get some advice and who you would talk to if you were me something along that line so you don't want to consider and prejudge each person I won't be able to reach them. Just if the name comes to your head, write it down, and then you can determine an approach for that person or how to reach that person, or even if you want to contact that person later. It's not a must or requirement that you reach out to everyone you write down or think of. What is a must is you write them down because you're going to get those names out of your head and onto paper. Because what the mind sometimes does is if you think of a name and you don't write it down, it will block you psychologically. The brain will block you from thinking of more people unless you write down every name that pops in your head, no matter how realistic or not realistic it is to reach or, or, or approach that person. If the name pops in your head, it could be your mortal enemy. Write it down just to get it off out of your mind and your mind will open up to think of somebody else as a tendency. So it's very important ground rules. Again, you may have to listen to this two or three times and uh, listen and maybe even revisit it in the future because you'll know more people you might miss. Uh, also important to get this to your new team members so that they can do this exercise or you can do this with them if you like. So here we go. I'm just going to roll out a lot of questions. There are more. This is not an exhaustive list, but this should help you add 
uh, people that you have already forgotten or have not even considered that again could lead to your best people down the road so number one who do you know name Al write it down who do you know named Bill who do you know named Alan who do you know named Bob who do you know named Bobby or Bonnie <coughs> who do you know whose last name is Brown who do you know named Carl or Connie or Charles or Chaz or Chuck who do you know named David or Denise? You know any Daves or Davids or Dougs or Douglas or Don or Donalds or Dannys or Daniels? Who do you know named Earl or Elizabeth or Beth? Who do you know named Fran or Francis? Who do you know named Greg or Gregory or Harry or Gary or Fred? Who do you know named James or John? Who do you know named Isabel or Johnny? Who you know named Jim or Jimmy or Jennifer or Janine? Who do you know named Car uh, Karen? Larry, Lawrence, Lonnie. Everybody knows a Larry somewhere. Or Lisa. Who do you know who's married? <laughs> Who do you know whose name is Mary? Or Manny? Or Nancy? Who do you know whose name is Oscar or Paul or Peter or Pete? Who do you know named Quincy? Who do you know named Robert or Robbie or Roslyn? Or Rome. Who do you know named Steve or Stephen or Sally or Sam or Samuel? Who do you know who's silly? Who do you know named Tony or Thomas? Who do you know named Tammy? Or Ursula? Who do you know named Vernon? Or Vern? Or Valerie? Or Val? Who do you know named Jerry? Or Jerome? Who do you know named Wayne? Who do you know named Zeke? Who is your, who are your parents? Who's your father or mother-in-law? Who are your grandparents? What about your adult children? Well, what about people who, if your children are still minors, who are their friends' parents? 
What about your brothers and sisters? Again, you may not approach all these people the same way or at all. But you want to write it down, get it out of your head so you can think about it. What about your aunts or uncles or nieces or nephews? What about your cousins? Who do you already have in your address book or in your phone list or any contact manager? Who's, what about in your email list? You know, your cell phone, that's a big one. You've got, typically, most people have a lot of names in their cell phone. On the low, low side, people typically have 20 names right there. On the high side, some people have as many as thousands in their cell phone list alone. Then there's Facebook. So you can go back and add that at the end. You might put a, a note there, just say cell phone list, Facebook. Just in case there's somebody you is in there that you don't think of and write down individually, you can add to this list. What about holiday greeting card lists or a wedding invite list or birthday party invite list? Or some kind of a business card list in, in another business you have. What about business, you know, that you might mail out uh, thank you cards or something to that you have an, or already a, in a business relationship? Or what about the business cards that you've collected or can collect in the future? You see them sometimes on bulletin boards and they, they might be a realtor or an insurance agent or sell cars or you know, do hair or something and they could be, or nails, they could be ideal people, or massage therapists that leave out business cards in a lot of places or other network marketers. Cards you've collected, write down cards I can collect. You know, again, there's, beyond Facebook, there's LinkedIn, you know, there's Twitter. There's other social media apps. Who are your best friends? Who are your neighbors? Who lives across the street and beside them and beside you and down the block that you've said hello to before or waved? What about the people you work with or go to church with? Who is in some kind of a you know, has a similar hobby as you or a club? What about friends you go camping with or maybe dancing class or if you do some kind of a, you know, square dancing or something, you know, who knows what kind of dancing. There's a lot of dancing. What about drawing class or in your fantasy football league or what about fishing buddies? or someone related that you know that is into karate or some kind of martial arts or singing or sculpting or woodworking who do you know from the gym that's a good one what about people you know that go bowling or play football or play golf that's a great one or racquetball or tennis or volleyball Who do you know that's an auto mechanic, an accountant, a biker, or a banker, or is a child care provider, or a babysitter, or a car dealer, or a dentist, or your doctor, or any doctor, or dry, owns a dry cleaner, or owns a grocery store, or a gas station, or works there that's real sharp. Who you know does hair or is a barber? What about housekeeping? There are stories of housekeepers making millions in this profession. Insurance agent, we already kind of mentioned that. It's one of the top ones. Lawyers, pharmacists, real estate agents. Maybe that's the very best one of all to target. 
travel agents. Who was my architect? What about members of an association or club? Or who's a bus driver? Or a baker? Or a butcher? Or a computer repair person? Or is just good with computers? What about a chiropractor? Another one of the best ones. Or a delivery person like FedEx or your US, who delivers your US mail or your mail wherever you live in the world. UPS driver, FedEx, who's a fireman, a florist, a jeweler, a leasing agent. Um, who do you know that's a pastor or a minister or a spouse of a pastor or minister? Who do you know that's a pet groomer or a photographer? Who do you know that is in law enforcement or a property manager or in, is into professional sports? You know, they literally are either a fan or a player of a, or, you know, an, or a coach or something uh, in some way into sports in a professional manner. Who do you know that's a tailor or a veterinarian? That's another good one. Or a waitress? That's another good one. You know, who, what about your, somebody that supplies water, like that delivers water to your home or your office? Who do you know that's a coach or a former coach? How about former co-workers or former roommates, former teacher, people in your hometown, previous neighbors? What about people that are involved in some way or connected in some way to the military or a veteran? What about retired co-workers or schoolmates? Pull out that yearbook. Who used to be your boss that you actually have respect for and like? Who sold you your air conditioning unit or your boat or your business cards or your camper or your truck or your car? That's another big one. Or your computer or your cell phone. That's another good one. Who sold you your appliances in your home? Where do they work? Can you go back and reach them and thank them and say hello, see how they're doing and see if there's something to discuss? Who do you know that loves to fish? Who sold you your furniture? What about your glasses or your home? What about your tires? Who do you buy your tires from? or your television or stereo equipment. What about, do you know a vacuum cleaner salesperson or repair person? What about someone that helped you plan your wedding or someone who's actively looking for some extra income or a part-time job? Who do you know that's ambitious no matter what their age? Who's enthousi enthusiastic and is just a passionate person? Who do you know that's entrepreneurial or cares about people? Who champions causes? Who is a fun, friendly person? Who loves to uh, raise money for fundraisers? Who's goal-oriented? Who's a natural leader? Who's very organized? Who's a positive thinker? Who's self-motivated? Who do you know that's a single mom or single dad? Who do you know that are team players? Who do you know that might be interested in a specific product that you're excited about or service? Who doesn't like their job? Oh my goodness, that's a big one. Who is not completely satisfied with their income or their job? Who do you know that's been in network marketing in the past or currently? Who has a lot of integrity and has a high moral character? Who has children in college? Who has a computer, uh, has a lot of computer or internet skills? Who has a dangerous job? Who has a lot of drive? Who has a great smile? Who has to pay down their credit card debt? Who has great public speaking skills? Who do you know that just got married recently? 
who just graduated who just had a baby that's a great one who just quit their job or is, temp or is currently out of work who loves a challenge who loves to learn new things who wants to help their spouse retire early who wants to make additional income or a lot more income who wants more time with their family or to do the things they want to do if they're single who wants to work for themselves who goes to like self-improvement seminars or buys those self-improvement books who is a fan of the film the secret or has read how to win friends and influence people or think and grow rich or who loves to teach the Bible and the Word of God who enjoys being around high-energy people who loves to laugh who needs a new car or home who do you like the most in this world who's someone you've met on vacation and have a, you know considered staying in touch who have you met on a plane who is it that your friends know that you don't know very well who do you know that wants freedom who is looking forward to a vacation who works absolutely too hard who works nights and weekends you know who's your accountant or who do you know that's an accountant or an actor who do you know that's an airline attendant or a military officer who sells alarm systems who does acupuncture who works at the bank who's a baseball fanatic who's a stockbroker who's a home builder who do you deal with at the cable company who do you know that's a consultant of any type who's a good cook who's a dermatologist who's a cab driver or a DJ who's another doctor that you didn't think of before or another dentist what about someone who's a teacher or an electrician an engineer or an entertainer who do you know that's a scientist again who do you know that's into farming or is a farmer who's a football player or just loves football who's a geologist who's a graphic artist who's a gymnast who's a handy person or some kind of other health practitioner other than chiropractor or doctor who loves vitamins and supplements who's a gym rat who works at the hospital who works in human resources who's an interior decorator who's an investor who's an attorney or a lab technician or a loan officer who's a manager that you are impressed with or talk to either at a store or anywhere who's a massage therapist again minister we'll bring that one up again in case you think of somebody else mortgage broker music teacher or musician who's a nurse a nutritionist an office manager an optometrist an orthodontist a painter a party planner a pediatrician or a personal trainer who's a pharmacist or a physical therapist or teaches piano who's a promoter either professionally or just their their makeup you know they just promote things all the time who works for the railroad or the radio station or 
is into psychology. Who works at a rental office? Who's a reporter or a good repairman? Who owns or manages a restaurant? Who's a great salesperson? Probably the least important on this list. But sometimes they know how to stop selling and they can they have a large influence and they can do very well if they don't oversell. Who loves skiing or singing? Who's into skin care? Who loves to swim? Who works at the tanning salon? Who's some other type of therapist that we didn't already mention or think of? Who's a trainer of some type or a tutor or valet attendant? Who's a veteran or volunteers? Who's a writer or takes yoga classes or teaches them? Who lives in Alabama or Alaska or Arizona or Arkansas, the natural state? or California, or Colorado, Connecticut, who lives in Delaware, here we go, here's one, who lives in Florida, or talks about Florida, or is from Florida, what about Georgia, what about Hawaii, Idaho, who's from Illinois, or Indiana, or Iowa, or Kansas, who's from Kentucky, or Louisiana, what about Maine, or Maryland, or Massachusetts, who's a Celtics fan, who's from Michigan, or Minnesota, or Mississippi, or Missouri, or Montana, who's from Nebraska, or Nevada, who loves Vegas? How about New Hampshire? New Jersey or New Mexico even? What about the Empire State, New York? Or the Tar Heel State, North Carolina? What about North Dakota or Ohio? Or what about Oklahoma? Who's from Oregon or Pennsylvania? or Rhode Island. What about South Carolina? How about South Dakota? What about the volunteer state Tennessee? Or Texas? What about Utah? Or Vermont? Or Virginia? What about Washington State? Or West Virginia? Or Wisconsin? What about Wyoming? Now let's talk about some countries just in case you never know. What about Afghanistan or Albania, Algeria? What about American Samoa? What about Argentina or Armenia or Aruba or Australia or Austria? Who's from the Bahamas? or Bangladesh, or Barbados, or Belgium, or Belize, or Bermuda? What about Bolivia, or Bosnia? What about Brazil? That's a big one. How about Bulgaria? What about Cambodia, or Canada? What about the Cayman Islands? What about I say Chile, Chile, China, how about Colombia, see folks I have a little list I'm reading off of here, and you can download them from the internet, what about Paraguay, or Peru, 
or the Philippines, it's a good one, or Poland, or Portugal, or Puerto Rico. Pray for them at uh, the, this time of this recording, just coming out of that hurricane. What about Romania or Russia? What about what about Saint Kitts or Saint Lucia? What about Samoa or Saudi Arabia or Serbia or Singapore or Slovakia or Slovenia? What about South Africa or South Korea or Spain? Another good one. What about Switzerland? or Sweden, or Taiwan, or Thailand, or Trinidad, or Turkey. I know a guy that has literally hundreds of leaders in Turkey and you would have never thought it. But you get one and it could lead to many. What about Uganda or Ukraine? What about you? the United Arab Emirates or what about the United Kingdom who do you know that you have not thought of here from here in the United States <laughs> somebody that might have moved here or if you're not from the United States who do you know in the United States right or Uruguay or Venezuela or Vietnam or the Virgin Islands or Yemen I don't know about Yemen or Zimbabwe or Zambia. See, it's not who you know. Sometimes it's who they know. And you never know what a letter or an email or a text or a phone call or a surprise package can do if it's an old friend. So now your assignment is to go through your cell phone list and they go through your social media and look at everybody that you can possibly add and write it down. Don't just say, well, they're in my Facebook. Write it down. If you think I don't know anybody and I got to get a lead system, that's not usually the case. Sometimes that is true, but usually people know enough people to keep them busy for a long time and maybe for the rest of their life. In some cases, leads are very useful, helpful, and will speed things along. In some cases, people think they need leads and they really don't. So I would, cons I would suggest that you exhaust this list, get with somebody in your support team who knows what they're doing, or, some, or a coach in the industry, somebody who you reach out to and formulate a game plan to walk you through meticulously each person and formulate some approach that makes sense to approach a great deal of these people maybe not all of them but a great deal of them but now your assignment is to go on social media and every way you can to find contact information of the people here that you are impressed with the people that you respect the people that have integrity the people that you could see being on your board of directors start with them make a top 20 list that's your assignment out of all these names narrow down 20 that you're going to begin with and find someone in your upline that will work with you hands-on or again even if it's not your upline a coach who is willing to help you uh, reach out and formulate a game plan and maybe even connect with these people for you um, in, in an intelligent way and Every, every product is different, every company is different, every relationship is different, but there are low pressure, fun, and rewarding ways to reach out to people without any pressure on you or them. And just let them be aware and ask them if they have any advice for you as to who you should talk to and that you, maybe they could look at what you do as a favor and that you'd appreciate it and show genuine appreciation if they could take a few minutes out and look at what you do so that in case they ever run into anybody or know anybody now that what you have might help them or they might be interested in earning income 
uh, that, that they may be able to introduce you to. And you never know as a side, uh, it's very common that some of these people will become interested without themselves in that process. And some of them will refer you people and some of them, nothing will happen. And the good news is there's a tendency of people to forget all about it if, the, if it's not anything that interests them, as long as there's no selling here, as long as it's relaxed and, in, and an intelligent method. So I know this was a long episode today, but this one wasn't, was for long for a purpose, a reason. Come back and visit it when you can actually do it. And this one episode could put um, you know, hundreds of thousands, if not millions, in your um, lifetime earnings um, if you do it right. And with that, that's today's Journey to Freedom podcast. This is Rome. And I hope you join me in the journey and take up this challenge and write down these names. Till tomorrow. Thank you for sharing today's 365 Days of MLM to Freedom podcast. And remember to email your questions and comments directly to Rome at 365 Days of MLM at gmail.com. And until next time, we want to encourage you to join in on the journey.